Hey friends, thanks for joining me here at Living at Country. I'm Holly and today we have another beautiful home. We get to tour today of my friend Carly from Our Coffee House on Instagram. And she has a beautiful modern style farmhouse and she lives in a Cape Cod home just like myself, which I absolutely love. So you guys are gonna get some inspiration from Carly on a very, very beautiful home tour today. And let's go ahead and welcome her here today and get started. Instagram, Our Coffee House, and I also have a blog, Our Coffee House Blog. Um, but welcome to our house. This is um, obviously our front porch. As you can see, we have two rocking chairs. We keep it really simple out here because it's always so windy. So if I did pillows or anything like that, they would just blow away. Um, also, I have some people helping me out today. This is Daisy. Labradoodle and Daisy is a full-size golden doodle um, so they like to follow me around and also my husband is filming today so thanks for that but um, the only thing special about this area of our home is we did do the brick skirting um, which I think kind of adds a lot of curb appeal um, and then we did the big planters that kind of match the brick but other than that let's get started and the duke flag is the one thing that my husband contributed to the decor um i think it's important to take into consideration everyone's wants in a house um but if you are a north carolina fan don't hold that as that against us but we are a duke household um so these are some of my favorite pieces in our home um, these are from Uttermost and they are on Wayfair, but I just love how they make a big statement and the botanicals are so like nice and like earthy feeling. So in here, um, we did build a Cape Cod style home, um, which does have the dormers. And as you can see, there are active dormers in here. Um, most of the time you would see those like in a bedroom or something like that, but we did do the open ceilings, which lets in a lot of natural light. Um, then I like a really neutral color palette. So everything is nice earth tones. Um, that is just what I like the most. So that is what I did. Um, in here, we did do a two story fireplace just cause I think it adds um, a nice traditional feel to the house. Um, the one thing that's cool about it is it is an electric fireplace, so it keeps things nice and clean. We don't have to worry about um, things getting dusty. But um, the candlesticks on the fireplace are from Big Lots. I absolutely love getting decor at Big Lots. And in the future, hopefully um, by the end of summer, we will have plantation shutters in here. Um, I just like clean and crisp lines. So I'm going to get rid of the curtains, add the plantation shutters, and I'm so excited about that. Um, something super functional about this room is the, I the island. The um, ottoman, so if you're sitting in these club chairs, which I got these, the brand is Klossner Furniture, and I picked out the um, fabric and everything, so I wish I could provide a link because people are always asking about these, but Klossner Home Furnishings and I custom um, picked out the fabric. Um, the ottoman is just from Amazon and we love it because it moves around. It probably needs some like WD-40 or something, but um, we love this thing. Mm -hmm. 
the dining room we did do the um, plantation shutters which I love because you can adjust the amount of natural sunlight in here um, and then this whole banquette area um, we actually DIY'd and it was a labor of love it actually started out as a three-piece hutch and we then deconstructed it painted it all white and then we added um, these over the cabinet cabinets I think I'm trying to say over the fridge cabinets I apologize but we um, secured two of those together formed a bench and um, we made a banquette. I um, inherited this heirloom table. I think I am the fourth generation to have this in a home. And I've always heard, you don't need to be the oldest piece in your home. So um, I love having an antique piece in our house. I think this is beautiful. It has an awesome pedestal bottom. And then I did add the modern chairs just to kind of go with the vibe of our home. Um, over here, just a simple little um, styled area, the arch mirror, the console table, which I did do a faux wood top on, and then a big bubble base. All of this was super affordable. The mirror was from Gordman's, the table was from Gordman's, and then um, the bubble base and greenery was from Hobby Lobby. I love greenery for summertime because it just seems so fresh. And yeah. All right, do we want to go in the laundry room? Um, this is probably, <laughs> and Daisy knew we were going to come in here, so she had to get herself a drink. So we'll just wait on her real quick. So, this room, I've always wanted a laundry room with blue cabinets. So when we first built, um, when the cabinets got here, they were more gray. So we actually painted them Santorini blue. And this is real life. We have two dogs. So we consider this the dog's room. Um, but yeah, we did add a farm sink in here, which I love because it's so useful with the amount of space. Um, you can soak things in there. It's just really useful. And then I did add a shower curtain rod. That way I can hang things dry if I need to. But other than that, um, that's about it. I never really show this wall um, because I, I don't know why I don't, but did a welcome sign. I didn't want it to seem too invasive, so I did do white on white. And then we have pictures of all the places that we traveled. Usually this is the place that guests enter our home. So I think that's kind of a cool thing to have um, when they walk right in. All right, and in the kitchen, we did do double islands when we were building. We did a lot of cool things in this kitchen, if you ask me, um, but spent so many hours designing this with different cabinet designers. Um, but we did do a full U-shaped kitchen, huge window over the sink. Um, I love the white cabinets, but we did add a little bit of contrast by making the middle island um, a wood stain. In here, I love to organize. So I have been organizing a lot, especially during this time when we've had to be at home a lot more. Um, but I have my spice drawer nice and organized and then I also love to organize my cabinets um, I am doing a summer organization series over on my Instagram blog which is starting June 1st which you will it'll probably already be started by the time you see this but jump in anytime you want. I would love to have you. I'm gonna have a ton of organization tips because I feel like that's kind of my wheelhouse. Um, I love to decorate and make our house feel like a home, but I also like for it to be like clean and organized. Um, in here, I did just this super cute, simple um, decor piece. Um, 
And I like to use practical things for each room. So a pitcher in the kitchen is always kind of cute. And I added some lemons for summertime. Um, my one tip, whenever you're making a display piece, you always want to do an odd number. So I did three. And then I always like to add texture. So I added the wooden prayer beads. So that's kind of how I do things, I guess. And then um, if I do green in one spot in a room, I like to do it in a couple other places. So I did this little accent piece over here. And I also did the wreath over the hood range. Um, and I think that's about it. We did do our own under cabinet lighting, which I'm really proud of. And yeah, I just like things super fresh and clean. Um, our half bath is super fun. I feel like half baths are supposed to be fun, right? Um, so added some bright blue, which kind of contrasts to the earthy tones that we usually do. Um, I did these fun raw wood shelves. I'm not completely done styling the shelves, so um, that's just kind of up there for now. I was playing around with some ideas, but this is peel and stick wallpaper, so if we ever get tired of it, we can always just take it down. Let's go to my favorite room. It is the bedroom. This bedroom just feels like my vibe. Like, I don't know, I just absolutely love it. The walls are um, Sherwin-Williams alabaster. And then I did beadboard wallpaper on this wall. And I did do it horizontally. I feel like that gives it a coastal vibe. And I love all things coastal. I wish we lived on the coast. We actually live in the Midwest, but I do like to add in some coastal vibes. Plantation shutters in here. Love it. Um, the bedding, super simple. I like contrast, so I did a dark quilt from, it's just from Walmart. And then I did get this cool antelope print pillow, lumbar pillow from Etsy. Um, personal pictures, the frames are from Walmart. I think that's really cute to have in a bedroom. And then the last thing I will show you guys, I might take you up to the balcony for the last, but the last room you will see is our master bathroom. Um, we did do the double doors. And as you can see, I have a um, freestanding tub and we did uh, double sinks and double towers. So you'll have tons and tons of storage. And then as far as our shower goes, we did do cultured marble in the shower. And cultured marble is similar to quartz. It's like this plastic, uh, I don't really know what it is. I'm not gonna act like I know actually. Anyway, it's super easy to clean. And the other thing that I liked we did, that we did in here was um, behind this wall, we did a space for his and her um, like bath stuff, shower stuff. And you can't see that um, when you're walking in the room. I, like I said, I just like for things to look clean. So I wanted all that stuff to be hidden, but. Actually, like I said, I'm gonna take you up the stairs and a view of the balcony and then we'll be finished. Our floors are bamboo. Uh, it's Amber City Lights from Lumber Liquidators. The stair treads and the flooring and we love it. It's engineered hardwood. Um, okay. Up here, you can see a view of everything. And we are never upstairs. We don't have children yet. 
Um, so we've got empty rooms up here, so it wouldn't be that exciting to show you. But thank you for following along today. I've really enjoyed having you all in our home. Hope you got some ideas or at least found this entertaining. I don't know. Can't wait to watch the other tours here on Holly's channel. So have a good one. A big thank you to Carly for opening up her beautiful home and sharing it with us here today. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later on Living It Country. Bye.